Well, hello everyone! Listen, when I was designing this collection, like I said earlier, I really wanted to make sure that I was bringing in some fun, retro vibes, fun colors, could be used at any time of year without it being like too, too winter time. That's what this soap is, okay? It, it, and y'all love mushrooms. That's the other thing is that every time I make a mushroom soap, people lose their minds. So I thought, okay, mushroom soap, some vintagey colors, a vintagey fragrance. It'll be the best of all the things. And it's a part of the Christmas collection that will be available on the first Saturday of December rapidly approaching. I highly recommend you set an alarm because of all of the collections all year round, this is the one that most likely will go the fastest, even though it's the one we will make the most of for. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's make some soap. Hi friendos, today we're making merry mushrooms. As you already know, I'm gonna begin by pouring my lye water solution into my oils, both of these prepared so lovingly by my husband, Klebneb, who may be popping in from time to time in this video. Isn't that right, Klebneb? Mm. Let's go ahead and give this little soap batter a spindly doodle some soap batter. So with as much soap batter as I'm going to be pouring into these containers, I don't think it's quite fair to call them accent colors because it's going to be pretty darn even by the end of it. Let's add some color, shall we? The first one going into our base container is titanium dioxide. We want this sucker to be bright white. Next up is some true yellow mixed with tennis ball breaker. This is going to anchor our yellow and make it really bright, really wholesome like a sunshine. Next up is Trial by Fire. I use this color a lot during the holiday season because it's the perfect red and I don't have to mix anything up or try to blend anything. I just dump it in and go. And finally, we have Flash Dance, which is like a purpley, pinky, red, a fuchsia, perhaps? And now we shall add the fragrance oil and kaolin clay blend. So this fragrance is called Honey Almond. And my mom says it smells like sweet things in the 1970s. Now, I wasn't around in 1970s, so I cannot confirm nor deny. But she swears that this is what, like, I don't know, grandma's kitchen smelled like when she was cooking up something sweet during the holidays. And since we have such a psychedelic, retro-looking color palette, I thought it was the perfect fit. Time to blend! My goal here is to make two passes. That is my entire goal. And it's going to get kind of gloopy, and it's going to start falling all over itself, and that's what I want, because I think it'll look really groovy. Yellow is next, and what a yellow it is. Now after I've done a whole row, I'm gonna shake it down a little bit. That way I have some more room to pour some more. And we'll begin the whole process over again. My two Brambleberry molds are mostly filled now and my soap is thickening up. So I'm just gonna start pouring it in on one side and letting it spill over. And I have removed my little corn cups. Okay, I have everything all tapped down and cleaned up and we will be back in just a minute after this quick commercial break to begin the soap frosting. Okay guys, I have my Atiko 8 to 9 tip and I'm going to start by putting three little dollops of soap on here. Now, remember, greens always look ugly before they saponify. So it will not be looking this muted and uh, sickly. And I know y'all are all thinking to yourself, Catherine, why mushrooms? Why not mushrooms? That's <laughs> what you should be asking. Everyone loves my mushroom soaps, okay? And I just thought, let's pull it into the holidays, okay? They don't always have to be springy or fallish. 
we can have merry mushrooms. <laughs> So that's why. It also makes for a good soap to take out of the holidays since if people gift this to one another, it isn't exclusively like holiday themed. These look like little cacti, which, ooh, saying that gives me an idea for a slab. Hmm, what if my made like a little desert cacti slab? It would have to be a very limited edition one because I feel like it would take me a lot of time. But can't you see it like little cacti? And then you put like really, really brightly colored flowers on it. That would be so fun. All right, last little dollop of soap right here on the top. Now we're going to add two of my favorite glitters. Emerald Stardust and Gold Stardust. Both are from The Good Glitter. Don't forget to use my code down below to get 15% off your order at The Good Glitter if they're perfect for all of your glitter needs. I know y'all have crafts that are gonna need glitter this holiday season. We'll start with the emerald and I am just going to sprinkle that all around. I am putting it on before I am putting on the embeds. I do not want the glitter on the embeds. Um, they are quite bold and colorful by themselves and uh, I don't want anything to detract from them. But I am going to use every single scrap of my glitter allowance. That is for darn sure. Now for the gold. <laughs> I think the gold is going to stand out a lot more tomorrow whenever these greens brighten up. And now for my mushroom embeds. These are the same colors as the colors on the inside of the soap. So hopefully they match perfectly. I'm going to start by putting on the top mushroom and alternating the colors here. Time for weird facts with Caleb. <laughs> Cleopatra was closer to the iPhone than she was to the building of the pyramids. What? Yeah. Explain. You can't just leave that hanging out there. The pyramids are estimated to be built in about... 2600 BC. She was alive around 30 BC and the iPhone is from 2007. And I'm making soap so I have no idea what math means right now. <laughs> it was over 500 years difference. Oh, glad to know that Cleopatra was a modern queen. The Guinness Book of World Records was invented by the Guinness beer folks. They figured out. No! Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. They figured a book of verifiable facts would help stop bar arguments. The singular of spaghetti is spaghetto. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to put so many more embeds on. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna bring you up for a close up because this is gonna take me all night. <laughs> Ooh la la, I love them. It looks like such a happy, bubbly little soap. I can't wait to see what that green looks like in 24 hours. I hope it brightens up beautifully. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let this sit for 18 to 24 hours, and then we will come back and cut these loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. Okay, so I have unmolded my Merry Mushroom and it's a little bit sticky, okay? A little bit sticky. So I'm gonna have to be a little more careful when I cut one like this. Get it all lined up just like so and then press down. Really easy to cut because it's so sticky. <laughs> And then let's see what it looks like. Okay, all right. It'll be a drop swirl in the future. <laughs> it looks pretty groovy and psychedelic, but I think a big fat gloopy drop swirl is gonna be more of the look I'm going for. Though I really do like the pigmentation and they definitely matches the mushrooms. Also, the smell incredible, like absolutely fantastic when it comes to the fragrance. I think for those people who enjoy sort of an oatmeal milk and honey soap, something that's a little bit on the gentler side, but also has some warm vanilla nutty undertones, this is gonna be the one for you. I've actually had quite a few people recommend or request a honey almond type smell. This is one of the fragrances that I have used in the past and lots of people really, really liked. So for the question of the day, I want to know, do you enjoy kind of a more modern, colorful holiday theme 
or do you prefer something a little bit more traditional, a little more natural, and a little more subtle? That may help me uh, in the future when I'm designing more holiday soaps for, you know, 2022 and onward. And I'd love to see your reasoning behind it as well. So tell me all the things. I encourage it. I want to pick your brain on this exact topic. Well, what do you think? Looking pretty cute, right? We'll make it a drop swirl. We'll update it a little. The smell has filled up like my whole room. It will probably tone itself down to like a medium fragrance, like as far as the uh, scent strength goes, strong kind of medium, and then a little bit softer, it's gonna be in the medium category. You guys, this collection is literally available on Saturday. So set your alarms. I can't wait to see you. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. The release day soap is gonna be super good, okay? It's the one I'm the most proud of when it comes to the colors. So I will see you guys then. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like going out there and very safe gathering mushrooms or maybe digging up in your grandma's attic some old perfumes from Avon. Why would that be fun? I don't know. <laughs> Just to appreciate vintage packaging, that's why. <laughs> but I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself. I'll see you guys on release day. And so until then, bye for now. Yeah!